welcome to the Coach Tyler Show. Golazo! 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 Hi. And welcome to another episode of the Coach Kayo Show. I'm your host, Kayo Day McKinnon. I um, want to really take this time to uh, welcome you to this live podcast. In this podcast, if you're new, um, just want to remind you that we talk all things soccer here, but the most important objective of this podcast is to inspire our young people to impact their impact their lives in a positive and meaningful way um it's uncommon it's unscripted it's authentic uh, because <clears throat> it speaks to um things that we oftentimes feel like it's it's not significant but it's actually the thing that drives us Um, it's what uh, allow us to be successful in in the very sport that we desire to play so we want to continue to make a positive impact we want to continue to Bring about transformation in terms of uh, one's behavior, so that they can truly uh, accomplish accomplish what they they set out to do. We want to jump into a very um, unique, or what I might say, an unorthodox topic. Um, but before I go to that, I want to encourage you who are listening to this podcast to please do share. Um, Very important so that we can touch and reach as much young people as possible um, so that they can have some message of positivity and know that in spite of all, in spite of what they might be facing or dealing with, um, there's a way. Um, There's an opportunity to accomplish great things. So please do share. Um, if you have not subscribed to our channel as yet, please do so at Kyrie McKinnon and Co. on YouTube and hit the notification bell so you know that we're on. If you don't know, we have changed the the date, the day of the podcast, the live podcast. It's now on Saturdays um, at 8 p.m. Please do tune in. Um, change is constant. Sometimes you need change um, to to elevate yourself. So it's it's normal uh, to make changes. So hopefully you will embrace um, the change and invite your friends, invite um, your coaches, invite your teammates, your parents to tune in every Saturday at 8 p.m. Eastern time. Um, for this live podcast remember we talk all things soccer all things soccer so please do share thanks for those who would have participated in our last show who would have who would have shared the show um we're very grateful um we're very grateful um i know i just said i just said 8 p.m you see change sometimes can can trip you up and all it's 8 30 uh, p.m eastern time um, so that you can be a part of the live show so that's 8 30 p.m eastern time every saturday for the um so that you can tune in and to listen to all things soccer so we want to jump into this show we want to discuss um put in the first things first put first things first or keep the first things first um very interesting very 
unorthodox topic for when it um, it relates to soccer, but I can assure you at the ending of the show, there will be something there for you to, um, to connect with in terms of what you're trying to do, uh, why you're dealing with some of the things you're dealing with, why you're dealing with some of the struggles that you're dealing with, why is it you have a passion to do something but don't really believe that it can be accomplished. Um, hopefully, those questions, all those questions can be answered in this podcast. But before we jump in um, to making sure that you keep the first things first, a quick um, interruption to bring to you the KMXVI March. Coyote, McKinnon, and company are ready to dress you in one of their most stylish, comfortable, and attractive athletic gears this fall for you to achieve that desired athletic goal. Check out their online store today for your joggers, tank tops, bras, backpacks, sweatshirts, and everything else you'll need to complete that look. It's Coyote, McKinnon, and company. We care. Hi, and welcome back to the Coach Kayo Show. Coyote here. Keep the first things first. Um, I'm going to try to get in and get out of this podcast. Um, but it's very important, and, and you you might be sitting there wondering, you know, what does this mean, um, keep the first things first? Well, when I think about um, keeping the first things first, I quickly um, go to purpose. I go to purpose. Um, purpose is first. And purpose established the will of the Father, the will of the Father, the will of the Father, um, which has created you for a specific purpose. There's um, a lot of times you, young people are faced with uh, many, many, um, Many distractions, for 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 better, uh, for better word. Many distractions in terms of what is their purpose. What is their purpose? Why are they here? Um, what is it they're supposed to be doing? And oftentimes, that is overshadowed by what someone else thinks you're supposed to be doing, based on. Um, the definition of a successful life. And I oftentimes ask the question when people say um, young soccer players pursuing um, the game of soccer, and as difficult that as it is, when there's so much uncertainty there in terms of reaching oftentimes what you're dreaming about, what you're thinking about, um, there's no quantum leap. There's, there's a process. There's... Um, you go through different stages. It's it's more like a roller coaster. You go up, and at times you are moving on to a next level. You have to regress, and there's this constant challenge that's supposed to be pushing you um, to a higher level um, or getting you closer to accomplishing your goal. And and in those moments, there. Are, uh, crucial things happen within those moments that sets us back in a way where we begin to doubt or we, we begin to question, is this what I'm supposed to be doing? And I don't think there's nothing worse that can happen uh, to you than having people around, especially those that you trust, especially those that you love, especially those that have a really strong impact and influence 
on your life, to don't understand your purpose, to don't understand your will, um, they oftentimes say you're wasting your life. I think I alluded to this um, in, in, in my last podcast when I spoke about, you know, playing um, as a young player and, and having a passion for the game, a passion only I understood. I know how it made me feel. I, I at that time and still to this day, it gave me this will, um, this, this desire, this confidence um, to know that I'm here with a purpose. I'm not here with a doubt. I'm not here um, with, with, with nothing to do that could be impactful. I'm not searching for nothing. Um, this is something that I knew that I always loved, something that I was passionate about. And I was told on many occasions, you know, I'm a fool. You know, I was told that um, I'm wasting my life. I was told that um, I'm going to turn out to be nothing um, by their standards of what something is. And, and that is so dangerous because, uh, you know, as an individual, we all have a significant role to play in this life because of our, because of the nature of our uniqueness. There's no one like us. So if we are oftentimes forced to the status quo or the expectations of others on what first things first are or what it is, then we could be uh, going to a path that has nothing to do with us and take us off course and put us um, in situations where we're looking for something to fill the void that has been created by not going after your purpose. When we talk about purpose, be reminded we're talking about keeping the first things first. So I thought about it and um and I and I and I quickly remember how you know there's so many people who have influence on young people that play in the sport of soccer. And oftentimes when they're going through these difficult times or these times of challenges when there's a level of uncertainty, um, we quickly go to you wasting your life. Uh, my question is, what is a life? What is an important life? What is an exciting life? What is the life of importance that you talk about? What defines that life? I think it's hard for someone outside of you to truly explain or to define what that life is because you will quickly um, recognize that the life that they're talking about is a life that they have created and not necessarily um, God who have created you for to pursue and to fulfill the will in which he created you uh, to to fulfill. That creates a lot of problem because when you are not functioning in the capacity in which you should, it creates more uncertainty. It creates more doubt because there's not, you don't have um, a clear roadmap. You've given one that not necessarily, that you cannot connect with necessarily because it's not yours. It's not what you're supposed to be doing. So you're trying to follow something that is not embedded in you. It's not something uh, that is innate. It's not something that you were born with. And it oftentimes puts you in this state of doubts, fear, uncertainty. This is the very thing the very thing that comes with when you are pursuing your purpose. The difference for me is because your purpose 
and, and keeping that as the first thing, even with these doubts and fears, there is a passion that make you move forward beyond those things. Because that is what you're supposed to be doing. It's like you were born with these tools and now you've got to figure out how to utilize the tools in which you were born with. To do something that you don't have tools for, what will you go back to? So then we have to find um, a modified way to deal with what um, we can't, what we don't have to fulfill the thing that we're trying to do that is not the first thing we should be doing. And oftentimes those, th those things are the wrong things. Those things become societal norms. Those things become common. Those things um, is trying to fit in rather than being unique. So it's very important, um, you young people, to understand what keeping the first thing first means. And there's nothing else. There's nothing else. There's, there's no other definition than purpose than the will in which you were born uh, to accomplish. The will that you have, that you inherit from your creator to fulfill a task while you're here. So, most Young people who are playing the game of soccer oftentimes play with no purpose. They play with no passion, even though there is a desire, there is a passion in them to pursue the sport. They quickly deter from it because it it is look it looks it looks to others like a wasted life, a life with nothing to accomplish at the end. But the question is, what if that is the purpose of the young man? Excuse me. What if that is the purpose of a young player, young woman? What if that is their purpose? Because we can't just speak about purpose without speaking about how impactful and how purpose brings you to leadership. And leadership is about servanthood, which you are a representation of your very creator. What we have is not for us only, but what we have is to continue to inspire, to continue to influence and impact others through our leadership to create better leaders or to create leaders who can now go and lead. And we create this domino effect of servanthood. Because we're not functioning in purpose and we're not functioning in the will, because we don't understand what is first, we... Um, we have become a society uh, that is selfish in, in so many ways. Um, we all played a part because of how we were taught, how we were brought up, the events of our lives, the experiences, uh, the experiences that we would have had. Um, in many ways, uh, we have become selfish and we... Um, we pursue things with only our desire in mind, in our desire meaning what what we have, what we must benefit from it, and not necessarily how we can impact the lives of others. Um, 
as you think about that, we'll, we'll, we'll take a, a quick break to bring our R and K Just Clean um, sponsored learning um, corner to continue to make an influence to advance your learning ability when it comes to, to game intelligence. And, and hopefully this uh, video can bring some sense of clarity in, in some area of the game that you might be struggling with. So we'll be right back. Let's say I want to make this seven more defensively responsible. What you will see is I will move the 10 into a higher position, playing like a forward. I will stretch my 11 um, to, to kind of keep the, the three a bit more um, focused. What I will do is I will drop my seven high and I will make my, my, my seven play halfway, drop my eight a bit deeper to create a, a diamond, move the six in a more backward position, and bring my five to create an overload. Obviously, bring the two across to make it compact, leaving the 11 out here. All right, so what you see here is we have enough numbers because we're still thinking about transition to defend even when we're in attack. So by bringing the five out here, we literally create a two V one. By bringing the seven in between the lines playing halfway and the eight a bit deeper, we create this diamond, right? So we could always use the option if the seven blocks here, we can now create these two V one situations. Yes, welcome back to the Coach Kyrie Show. Kyrie Day here. Like I said, I'm not going to keep you long here because it's all about keeping the first things first. We don't need to go um, to a million things. We don't need to prolong the conversation. But keep the first thing first. We have to, we have to be assured that once um, we understand what the first thing is, um, then we we are about to live um, the life that we're supposed to live. And like I mentioned just before this break, the first thing is purpose. First thing is the will, purpose, the will. Um, knowing why you are here, knowing what is it you're supposed to be doing. And as you go along, you will know how to do it. I oftentimes tell young players, it's not what you need to think, it's how you need to think. It's not okay, it's not okay for, for people to tell you what to think. They must teach you how to think because at the end of the day, no one else's brain will make the decision for you. You have to make the decision for yourself. It's, what, it's how we were taught um, ultimately have an influence on those decisions that we will make. And if what we were taught got it all wrong, then we will live a life that is unfulfilled and we will look for alternative methods to fulfill, to, to fill a void um, that we have in our lives and don't seem to understand why it's happening. I'm in soccer and it might sound like it's crazy and it don't make sense, but how many young people are using this game to find an identity, to find who they are? How many young people come to the game of soccer and realize that they lack self-awareness. 
that their hearts are filled with doubts and fears. How many young people who are playing the game of soccer now have little to no confidence in who they are because they don't know who they are. You always lack confidence when you don't know something. When things are unfamiliar, when things are not, you're not knowledgeable about it, you become very uncomfortable. You, come, you become very reserved. You get in a position where you want to withdraw. And that is something. Think about someone not knowing what their real purpose is. Someone not knowing their will. What it can do to them mentally. What it can do to them spiritually. What it can do to them emotionally. Because they don't know what is first. They have all this noise outside telling them, this is the good life. And this is a good life. And, you know, money is an important thing because money answers it all thing. But also the love of money. The love of money is also the root of all evil. So if, if, if you just forcing someone to pursue something because you fear that they will not have the wealth and the riches that you think they should have, then you might want to think that might be the wrong thing because that's not what they're passionate about. As much as it will help, but if they're not passionate about it, then when you're not passionate about the game, you give less to the game and you find shortcuts to achieve something that will be short-lived. And while I'm on that point, that's why you should not envy anyone with what they have. Because you don't know what they've done to get it. Some people say they want the faith like Job. And I say, you go right ahead. I don't want that faith. I don't, I want my own faith. I don't want Job's faith. How do I know I could go through what he went through? How do I know that? I don't want to feel miserable, miserable trying to be like Job, wanting Job's faith. No, I don't want Job's faith. Job taught me what faith means that's good enough i don't want his faith though i don't want no faith like him because if i want his faith that means i have to go through what he had to go through and how do i know i was built to go through what he went through how do i know that is my purpose why am i asking for something that is not mine I want my own faith. So we continue uh, in, in when we when we are pursuing things for the wrong reason and the wrong purpose because it's not our will, it's not our passion. We are destroyed because there's no clear roadmap for that because you weren't supposed to be going in that direction. And I believe when people decide to tell you what direction you're supposed to be going, they must be able to show you. Excuse me. Because When you're in a position of authority and you have so much influence, people can listen to you blindly. People can follow you blindly, regardless if they know or not. And it's your responsibility, not just to use other people's experiences while some some experiences are good 
um, to give you some context, um, you have to show that person that what they are doing clearly will bring them to this end. How do you do that? If you don't even understand the thing that they're trying to pursue because you have never pursued it. And what can you show them? Only put fear in their hearts because fear is in your heart for them. I think about I think about Jonah and he felt that he needed to go somewhere else which wasn't his purpose. And if you went to Sunday school you learn about Jonah and the whale and and everything else but he took a part that because he was he didn't want to do his will. He didn't want to fulfill his purpose. So he tried to go a different path. And he had to go through turbulent times. Ending up in a whale's stomach is... No, how many, how many of us want to end up in a whale's stomach? How many of us, if we just see a whale, we, we probably would die before we even get to the whale. So in my mind, he had to experience a turbulent uh, time to, to understand it's not what you want to do, buddy. It's the will. It's the purpose that you must fulfill. And however I need to get you back there, I will get you back there. So I say to you, young people, if you don't understand your purpose, it's a very good time to connect to the one that created you. And I say that with no apologies. Um, because no one historically or in the present can define your life. No one. No one. No one, even learning and developing, is still, there's still studies that constantly changing based on new things or new ideas coming to the forefront. In soccer, there's trends, and these trends are constantly changed because of what is happening. So as time goes, whatever changes are occurring things change, so it's never the same. So who can truly define you when they have not created you? They don't know your deepest thoughts. They don't know your passion. They don't know your will. They just have a sense. They just have their opinions. They, they have what they see with the eyes, but the eyes could never... Oftentimes, the eyes don't define what is in the heart. And sometimes, the eyes could define what is in the heart. Because he said, by your fruits, you will know them. So there's, some, there's an argument there. But it's, it's, it's not clear to every single one to say, that is who you are based on what you're doing. So no, who knows you? Who really knows what you are capable of? And I think that we've made soccer so mundane and we've we have made it, we have cast it away like it's nothing. And those that are involved, they are nothing. They're just there to um uh, to cater to you and all of your negativity and all of your uh, your bad attitudes and your bad behavior. Um because it's an enrollment environment. It's all about getting the money. It's not about, um, it's not about fulfilling purpose. It's not about being intentional. It's not about 
transformation. It's not about changing people's behavior and 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 charting out know, charter in a way forward that creates a life of purpose and put in the first thing first. You've got to encourage as I leave. We've got to encourage more young people to keep the first things first. And that is purpose. That is the will in which you were born to accomplish. That is passion. What is in your heart? What drives you? The things, the thing that you don't want to leave. The thing that you feel like you cannot live without. The thing that you feel like, wow, this thing make me forget everything that I want to forget. It gives me peace. It gives me joy. And everybody else saying it's a waste of time. And I'm forced to follow that course of action because I'm not the authority. And I have to depend on those who say they love me and care for me to make a sacrifice. To pursue the unbelievable, to pursue the unsee, the unseen, to understand that the just shall live by faith, because purpose comes from the Creator, and only He has the tools, and only He can make it, uh, only He can activate it towards you as you pursue it. Only He can activate it, and as you move closer to Him. He says, this is what he says, the gift that I give you <laughs> will make room for you and bring you before great men. So something about this great, this great potter, this great uh, creator, he says, well, as you go after your purpose, as you go after your passion, as you go after your will, I will open up the doors that's supposed to be open up. I'm telling you, if you're not excited now, you should get excited because it don't matter if you if you are pursuing soccer, if you are pursuing basketball, if you are pursuing cricket, if you're pursuing golf, whatever you're pursuing, make sure it's your passion. And once it's your passion, once it's your purpose, once it's your will, I say keep going. Because doors will open that no man can open. Now, it's not a quantum leap. It's not just going to happen because before the goal is seen in its beautiful form, it must go through a process. It must go through a process and that process is on the heat. If that, if if that raw goal could feel pain, it would be screaming every day, all day. But out of that is a beautiful thing that we all admire. I talk about before a woman brings a child into the world, it's so much pain, there's labor. But out of that labor is part a beautiful thing. There's nothing great that will come without pain. So if you are coming off of your passion because the challenge is great and the mountain seems so high and 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 the situation seems like it's 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 unbelievable then you're making a mistake if it's your passion if it's your purpose if it's the thing you cannot live without but if if we understand purpose we will know at the end of the day, in spite of whatever is happening, keep it first. Keep it first. Keep it first. Keep it first. Don't worry about what they say. Worry about what they can show you. Lastly, how important this is to understand purpose and don't always listen to what you hear. But let them show you what it means. Let them clearly define what they're saying against your purpose to be true. I was doing an exercise with a young player and I said, it was an exercise that speaks to what you see. What can you see? 
not what I say, but what can you see? Because until you see it, then it's going to be difficult for you to be able to retrieve it when the time is necessary. So you could hear a whole lot of things, but until you see it and encode it and embrace it, then it's not yours. It continued to be an external thing. So it's this exercise that says, when I move a certain way, you must move the opposite way. But I said something and I move the opposite way. And the player responded to what I said and not what I did. And it was a quick moment to remind that young player that you went the wrong direction because you listened to what I said, but you didn't saw what I did. Think about that for a second. Maybe you will get it tomorrow. Maybe you will get it during the week. Maybe you will get it right in this moment. But in that one moment, how many times can we, how many times you have gotten it wrong because you listened to what someone said, but you didn't see it for yourself? If that is you, and that is most of us, this is a great time to reset. It's a great time to roll back the curtains and ask yourself some tough questions, but then ask your creator, what is it I'm supposed to be doing? And I guarantee you, Everything that you are passionate about, there will be an opposition. An opposition that will drive you to fear. But when you find fear, but that when you find fear and you still feel the desire to pursue this thing in the midst of it all, because obviously it's leading to positive outcomes, but you cannot see it. But you know you can see it in the future, how it could make you feel, how it could, what it can do for you. But it's not in front of you. I say, pursue it. Excuse me. Pursue it. I hope this, this podcast would reignite the fire in you to pursue your passion relentlessly, to do it with resilience, to do it with hunger, to do it with obsession, and know that at the ending, you will be fulfilled and you will inspire others to be their best self. Keep the first things first. And have a good week. Now is the time to keep your family warm with quality insulation for your home from Pro Insulation Company. At Pro Insulation, we solve all your residential and commercial insulation needs. Attics, crawl spaces, walls and ceilings, new and existing homes, and we offer traditional insulation and spray foam. Call Pro Insulation Company today for your free in-home estimate for all your insulation needs. Leave it to the pros and call Pro Insulation Company in 